here is what will work. Number 1. You can still get Windows updates. Yes, it is surprising. For example, I've installed Windows 11 on this unsupported PC right here and look, it's still getting updates. Now will Microsoft continue to keep it that way? Only time will tell but for now, you can still get updates on your unsupported PC when you have Windows 11. And number 2, what happens is that your performance will genuinely be the same. For example, this PC again is not supported for Windows 11 and I did not see any substantial change in performance. And I'm using this PC strictly from an average user's perspective by doing regular web browsing, word processing and I didn't see major changes. Okay, so what's the big warning? No guarantees. And this is coming straight from Microsoft itself. For example, on their support page, Microsoft made things really clear without even using technical jargon by saying it's not recommended to install Windows 11 on a PC that's not supported. And you should be comfortable assuming the risk of running into compatibility issues and that your device might malfunction due to these compatibility or other issues. Okay, so who would be comfortable assuming those risks? Well, let's say for example, you have an old spare computer on the side, go ahead, you can try it out. Or if you're an advanced user, go ahead, you can try it out because you know what you're doing. But if your reason is because you're just trying to stay up to date and you don't really know what you're doing, it's not worth it. Windows 10 is supported up until 2025 at least, so you're good to go. And that basically explains it all. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.